Okay, so let's go back to our classifier. So the pre-processing is done, and now we're going to create our classifier. Everything should go well. I don't have to select this because mine was already selected. So let's press Command and Control plus Enter to execute. And here it is, classifier created, all good. Okay, and now we can make some predictions of new observations, which are here the tested observations. So let's do it. White red, white red. All right, so let's have a look at white red. White red. So these are all the predictions of uh, the test set observations. That is for each user of the test set, our classifier predicts if the user buys the SUV or not. So let's compare the predictions with the truth, which are contained in the test set. So this column tells the truth about whether the users bought yes or no the SUV. And this are the predictions. There is our SVM classifier predicted whether each user bought yes or no the SUV. So let's look at, for example, the, well, okay, so all these first guys here were predicted not to buy the SUV. We have all zeros until the 103. But here, as you can see, we have some uh, guys who actually bought the SUV in reality. It's the 18, 19, 20, and 22. So our classifier predicted that they didn't buy it. And the truth is that they actually bought it. So that's incorrect predictions. But let's look at the incorrect predictions in a more efficient way by looking at the confusion matrix. So let's select this line here and execute. And now let's find out about the real number of incorrect predictions. So let's type CM here in the console and press enter. And he, wow, that's actually a quite large number of incorrect predictions. And by the way, we don't obtain the same results as in Python because we have some random factors in the model. And here we didn't specify a seed. So you might actually have some different results, but uh, the idea is here. So, okay, so let's look at now the, the graph to see how it's doing. So for those of you who actually didn't watch the Python tutorial about SVM, a good exercise is to try to guess what's going to happen. That is, what are going to be the prediction regions? What is going to be the prediction boundary? What do you guess you will see? So I will let you think for a second. You can pause on the video. And right now I'm going to tell you. So as you notice, we chose a linear kernel, which means that our SVM classifier is a linear classifier. So as I explained in the logistic regression tutorials on Python and R, well, a linear classifier in 2D dimensional space is a straight line. So here, I'm telling you this right now, we're going to get a straight line, not to get any disappointment, because I know we improved our model with the KNN before. We obtained a good prediction boundary that caught, you know, those users on the bottom right corner that actually bought the SUV, but who were incorrect predictions for logistic regression. Well, here, it's also going to be some incorrect predictions for the linear SVM because it's actually a linear classifier. So let's look at the results right now. Select this and press Command and Control. Press Enter to execute. And here are the results. Okay, so as you can see, that's exactly what I just told you. You know, those users here with a lower salary and a higher age, well, they actually bought the SUV in reality because the points are green, the points are the real observations, but they fell into the red region here because since the linear classifier is a straight line, it couldn't, you know, make some kind of a curve here to catch all the red points into the right place and therefore it caught some green points, putting them in the red region. So yeah, that's exactly the same as for logistic regression. Sorry about the disappointment, but don't worry. In the next section, we will introduce a new kind of classifier, which will be, well, the kernel SVM with a different kernel than linear kernel. It's going to be a Gaussian kernel, or even we can try some more kernels. Well, you can practice that yourself. It can be very good practice for you. But uh, here, yes, it's a linear classifier. So basically, it's the same as logistic regression. And uh, if we look at the test set results, it's going to be the same. Let's have a look. And here's the test set. Okay, so yeah, same thing. Here we have some users of higher age and, and lower estimated salary who bought the SUV, but fell into the red region again, because our classifier is a straight line. And that's the best you could do to classify those two points and place them into their corresponding category. So a few incorrect predictions here, a few incorrect predictions here. And if you want, you can count the number of incorrect predictions, that is the number of green points in the red region plus the number of red points in the green region. 
and you will count the number of incorrect predictions we found in the confusion matrix, which was 20 incorrect predictions. But that's great that we have this result because that gives us the motivation to improve our classifier, improve our model. And that's what we're going to do in the next section. So I look forward to seeing you in the next section and show you how we can substantially improve our classification model. So I look forward to showing you the next level and until then, enjoy machine learning.